Hey everybody, I'm Adam Harry from Bell of Lost Souls here to bring you an unboxing of the new start collecting box for the Slaves to Darkness for Warhammer Age of Sigmar. I'm super pumped about this box set because I actually play the Slaves to Darkness. I have this is one of my first armies for Chaos uh, uh, that I'm a big fan of. Flip it over here, here's the back of the box. This box has 10 Chaos Warriors, 5 Chaos Knights, and a Chaos Lord on the new, uh, and I'm going to butcher this, but Carcadrak uh, is what I'm going to call it. Carcadrak. Uh, it's really cool. He's got a really awesome looking hide mount. It's like this weird alligator slash pug mix. I don't know how else to explain, uh, describe it. Uh, it's, it's a really cool looking mount. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and uh, check out the insides of the box, which I have already pulled out right here. As you can see, uh, here's the uh, instructions on how to put everything together. Um, it's full color as you would expect here. What's great about this box is everything in here is brand new sculpts, uh, updates to some very iconic and kind of player favorite uh, units as well, uh, just in general. And of course the new Chaos Lord on the Karkadrak uh, as well. So uh, Chaos Warriors, again, that's an old school model. Finally got updated, really excited about those guys. And of course the Chaos Knights. They weren't as old as the Chaos Warriors, uh, but they have been updated as well. What I really, really like about these new Chaos Knights is, which uh, we'll see here, but they, GW did a really good job of combining the uh, the look of the old Chaos Knights with the with the dynamic poses of the Varen Guard without making them cooler than the Varen Guard and not so alien from the Chaos Knights previously that you can't mix and match them both and have a really cool set. So anyway, moving on from here, here's all the sprues. We'll go over these in a second. Here's your bases. You got the big one for the Chaos Lord. Uh, five for the uh, Chaos Warriors on Knights, or Chaos Knights, and then ten for the Chaos Warriors. So those, these are 32 mil sprues as well, if you're wondering about that at home. If you want to convert your old Chaos Warriors to the more modern size. Uh, on top of that, um, we've got these sprues divided up here. Here's the Chaos Lord sprue. We'll take a look at this one first. On the Kakadrak, Karadrak, whatever. Uh, <laughs> like I was saying earlier, he's got kind of a like a, a alligator crocodile type of body with like uh, a pug. I don't know how else to explain it. His face, it just reminds me of a dog uh, with like a, like a lizardy snout. So uh, anyway, th what's cool about this, the underbelly here is the, uh, the scales on it are more like rectangular instead of spherical or rounded. So it definitely looks more like, again, an alligator or crocodile as opposed to say like a fish or like a dragon, um, like rounded scale. So I really like that uh, about it. Again, there's a ton of detail on this sprue. Uh, just a lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Uh, the armor on the mount is insane. The, the scales on the mount are really, really cool and dynamic. The cape on the Chaos Lord is just fantastic looking. Like, look at that thing, nuts. Uh, Archeon might be a little jealous there. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> he also comes with this crazy axe and a crazy sword uh, that looks really rad. Um, overall, it's used, he's got that, he's got like a, like a rock he's posed on. This is this bit right here. There's a couple of different head options as well. So if you want to build it with like this uh, horned helm, you can do that. If you want to go with more of the, the horns actually coming out of his head, you can do that head. There's also an option for uh, a, a helmetless face. So. And you can kind of swap all these around with, with Chaos Knights if you really wanted to. Uh, it wouldn't be too much work, I think, to do a couple of head swaps here just to change up some of the variety for you. But uh, really cool looking model. Very excited about this one. Next up, we have the Chaos Knights. And uh, there's actually three of these kind of like half sprues or full sprues or whatever you want to call them. Uh, and they're broken off here in the box. So we're going to take a look at the lone sprue first. And you can kind of see here, again, similar setup as the Chaos Lord. Very, very cool uh, armor on all of these. I love the, the chain mail underneath the plating, the, the big armor plates uh, on the horses. Again, like I was saying earlier, these horses look similar enough to the old Chaos Warrior, uh, old Chaos Knights, that uh, they won't look out of place if you put them next to each other. They're just a lot more dynamic uh, in their positioning and their, their movement. Uh, if you use the lances, their lances do look way cooler, <laughs> in my opinion, than the old Chaos Halberds that they had. 
Um, if you're just running them with ensorcelled weapons, though, uh, you know, a couple of the hand weapons, they won't be out of place at all with your cast knights. So, very, very cool there. Uh, and then you flip it over. And I think that's like one horse, maybe two, or like one and a half horses. And then you've got the other sprue right here, which is the rest of that horse plus the other cast knights there. So, um, again, enough to make uh, five cast knights with lances or hand weapons, shield, all that fun stuff. Speaking of shields, and you'll see this in the Chaos uh, Warriors as well, their shields are really, really cool. They're rounded. Uh, there's more detail on them. Some of them have like Chaos Runes. Uh, some of them even have like talismans that are on chains on the shields, probably like trophies from fallen enemies and things like that. Uh, really crazy looking helmets, uh, crazy looking armor plates. Just, it's a really cool re-sculpt, uh, reimagining of the Chaos Knights. Again, without being so different from the current Chaos Knights that you can't mix and match them, but not quite as uh, otherworldly and chaotic looking as, say, like the Varengard who are riding clearly not horses. <laughs> These still look mostly like horses, even though they might be drinking that demon sauce or whatever. So, that's the Chaos Knights. Next up, we're taking a look at the Chaos Warriors. Again, similar thing here with the Chaos Warriors. Uh, in this box compared to the Chaos Warriors uh, from previous editions. And, you know, to be perfectly honest, those Chaos Warriors from previous editions, those were pretty dated uh, at this point. They're, uh, the models still work great. Um, they, they were one of the best rank and file units you could build this because they fit on those square bases so well and they were tight, compact models, but they weren't very dynamic. Uh, their pose was very static and you really only had like sword and board option or like two hand weapon options they didn't have a whole lot of movement to them these <laughs> excuse me these models clearly have way more movement uh their capes are, are flowing more and more dynamic their shields are that kind of rounded look to them they're bigger and uh they just they feel more intimidating i was a big fan of the chaos warriors uh as the you know faceless uh warriors marching forward in a a wall of iron to crush their enemies and these guys would fit in right at home with my current you know models uh, once I paint them up similarly they would make really cool unit champions uh, sprinkled throughout my existing army and you can do that too with all these models which is really cool uh, here's the other side of, of those sprues again um, very easy to build a lot of them have like the, the pegs to, to assemble them so they're pretty dummy proof to be perfectly honest when you're building these models um, follow the instructions and you really can't go wrong clip and clean them uh, and they'll pop right together so uh, really cool set of miniatures for the slaves to darkness for chaos warriors uh, as far as an update goes I'm really excited about these models so yeah that is everything in the start collecting box for the new slaves to darkness uh, this one should be out soon by the time you have this video watch this video if they're not out already, you can order them online from GW or from your favorite local gaming store. Well, folks, that's everything for this uh, Star Collecting Box. I'm Adam Harry. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Click to subscribe. Check out more videos. And thanks for watching.